Marsha Foster has devoted more than 20 years to running and has the hardware to prove it. That was my prayer time, my devotional time, my quiet time, my nature time. But the run she took Saturday was the opposite. It was cut short at four miles. I love it and I'm devastated that right now I don't feel safe in my, na my own neighborhood. I can't go out and run. Still mentally and physically feeling the trauma of her encounter with a coyote in her neighborhood in Frisco. It was just two weeks ago on a run with a friend. I've got swelling you know, and bruising still 10, 12 days later now, all up and down the leg. A trauma nurse with bites to both legs, even the arm. The coyote charged at them from the back. I went down completely head first. And I looked back and there was a coyote on my leg and I was face to face, I, you know, I could see him right there crouched down and as if he was going to lunge at my, my face. It is one of a handful of cases of aggressive coyotes in Frisco. The city thinks it may have caught and put down the coyote responsible. On Saturday, a homeowner walking his Yorkie was attacked. The dog has puncture wounds to the back. Later, the homeowner says his cameras caught another coyote pacing in the backyard before scaling the fence. Oh, you're kind of scared to go out of your own home a little bit, you know, because you don't know, if, you know, what's out there <laughs> or if you're being hunted. Marsha believes it's not just one coyote pleads for people to stay vigilant and not find total comfort in measures like looking big and making loud noises because that didn't work for her. What she wants is the city to do something more substantive. It's uncharted territory, so I think um, it's going to take a, a larger project, you know, people involved, to figure out how we can do this, how we can coexist safely. Frisco says there have been no new developments outside of continued patrols in the neighborhood. Marsha is training for a triathlon in April, says she will heal physically faster than she will mentally.